everybody from St. Peter's. Welcome to our preschool time. I'm Mrs. Smith. I teach in the Bunny Room and I'm so glad to see everybody here today. Now we're doing these videos and they are videos so they are not going to be the same as what we would do in our class and that's okay. We can still have fun and we can still some, learn some things but the nice thing about the video is that if you need to stop it to go to the bathroom or get a drink or anything, have your grown-up show you how to stop the video, go do what you need to do, come back, have your grown-up show you how to play it again, and we, we can keep going right from where you left off. Also, if you like a certain part, you can play it over again. If you like the song, play the song part again. If you like the story, play the story again. That's the nice thing about having a video. So, let's get started. Every week when we start, we're going to sing a welcome song together. It's very easy. It's called um, Welcome to St. Peter's Preschool Time. So it goes like this. Welcome to our preschool time, preschool time, preschool time. Welcome to our preschool time. I'm so glad you're here. Do you think you can sing that with me? Ready? Welcome to our preschool time, preschool time, preschool time. Welcome to our preschool time. I'm so glad you're here. Good job. Yay. All right. So this week we're talking about all about me, which means all about you. That's one of the things we would have done if we were in school. All about you. You are super special. Did you know that in all the world, in billions of people, that there's only one you? There's nobody quite like you. There might be somebody who looks a little bit like you, but they're not you. There might be somebody who likes something the same as you, but they're not you. There might be somebody who likes the same foods as you, but they're not you. Or can do some of the same things as you, but they're not you. There is only one you. One. You are super special and unique. But at the same time, all the people in the world are alike in some ways. What do you think? What are some of the ways we can be alike? Hmm. We're all people, right? What else? How else can we be alike? What do you think? We all have faces. We all have bodies. <gasps> How about families? Do we all have families? Yes, we do. They might not be the same, but we all have families. So just, I have a story that is just all about that. It's called, We Are All Alike, and we are all different. And guess what's special about this book? This book was written and illustrated, that means the words and the pictures, are done by kids. This class of kids wrote this book and drew the pictures for this book. This book is by the Cheltenham Elementary School Kindergartners, and that's their picture. So this is their book, We Are All Alike, and We Are All Different. all alike. We are all people. But we're all different. We do not look the same. Some of us, we have different color eyes. We have different color hair. Some of us have curly hair. Some of us have straight hair. And some of us wear glasses. I wear glasses. Do you? Some of us have different color skin. Some of us have darker skin. And some of us have lighter skin. What color skin do you have? Look at your skin. Everybody has different colored skin. We're all alike. We all have bodies. We are all different. Some of us are girls and some of us are boys. Some of us are big and some of us are little. What does your body look like? We're all just a little bit different. We are all alike. We all have families. But we are all different. Some of us live with moms. Some of us live with dads. 
Some of us live with our moms and dads. Some of us live with our grandmoms and our granddads. And some of us live with our brothers and our sisters. Some of us look like our moms and dads. And some of us look different from our moms and dads. What's your family like? Do you look like your mom or dad? Do you live with your grandma and grandpa? Or your aunt or uncle even? We are all alike. We all live somewhere. We all have a place to live, but we are all different. Some of us live in the city. Some of us live in the country. Some of us live in apartments. Do you know what an apartment is? An apartment is a bigger building like this. And inside that building are lots of homes. Lots of families live in these buildings. They all have some rooms or apartments. They all have their own kitchen. They all have their own living room and their own bedrooms in these apartments. So lots of families live in these apartment buildings. Some of us live in houses and some of us live in trailers. Where do you live? There's all kinds of different homes. We are all alike. We all eat. But we're all different. We like different foods. What foods do you like to eat? And what foods don't you like to eat? We are all alike. We like to play. But we're all different. Some of us like to pretend. Some of us like to climb. Some of us like to read. And some of us like to play ball. What do you like to do? We are all alike. And we are all different. The end. So do you see? We are all alike. We all have bodies. We all have faces. We all have homes. We all have families. But we're all different. We look different. We like different things. We do different things. We live with different families. We have different kinds of homes. And that's what makes us special. If we were all the same, this world would be boring. We wouldn't want to see the same thing over and over again. It's special to know that everybody has something different and we can learn from what everybody can do differently and what everybody likes differently. So let's start. Did you get a mirror or can you go look at a mirror? Let's look at how you're different and what you're like. So I have my mirror right here. <clears throat> let's look, let's start with our hair. What's your hair like? What color is your hair? I'm looking in my mirror. I have what color everybody what color is my hair brown i have brown hair b for b brown look at your hair do you have this color hair do you have black hair b for b black hair some people have black hair some people have yellow hair y is for yellow and when you have yellow hair we call that blonde. Oops, I'm on cookies where you guys can see them on my board. There you go. Let's turn the, the camera so you can see. So we have brown hair, black hair, and yellow hair. That's called blonde. And here's a picture of some blonde hair children. See how their hair is kind of a little bit yellow? That's blonde. Can you say blonde? Blonde hair. Some people have red hair. R for red hair. Here's a picture of a little girl with red hair. Is it really red? It kind of looks a little bit orange to me, doesn't it? But we call it red hair. That's what a hair looks like when somebody says they have red hair. Look at her hair. Now look at your hair. Is your hair long like hers? Do you have long hair? Or short hair like maybe mine? Or even shorter? like this little boy. Maybe you have short hair like him. 
Is your hair curly like this little girl? Or is your hair straight like mine? We all have different hair, don't we? Now let's look at our eyes. Look in your mirror. Look in your eyes. Some people wear glasses, right? Like me. Some people wear contact lenses, which means they put their glasses in their eyes and then you don't see them. But I wear glasses and contacts, so sometimes you'll see me with glasses and sometimes without. Do you have glasses? Do you have contacts? Does your mommy or daddy have glasses? Everybody's different. Now look at your eyes. Can you see my eyes? Might be hard to see, but I have brown eyes. Just like my hair, I have brown eyes. Do you have blue eyes? Maybe your eyes are blue. B for blue. Maybe your eyes are g -g green. Are your eyes green? Some people even have gray eyes. And some people, their eyes don't look like one color. Some people might have green and brown both in their eyes. Maybe some people, when they look at their eyes, they have a little blue and a little green in their eyes. But our eyes are all different. But we all have, how many eyes do we all have? Two. One, two. We all have two eyes. How many ears do we have? One, two. Two ears. How many noses do we have? One. And how many mouths? One. But our mouths are shaped different. Our nose are shaped differently. Our ears are shaped differently. And our eyes are shaped differently. And even our faces have different shapes. We're all different. But we're all alike because we all have two ears, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Now, we're going to talk about the things that you like to do. But first, let's get up and wiggle a little. I remember in that story they said we all have bodies. What's your body like? And what's your skin like? Is it lighter or is it darker? We all have bodies. Some of us are tall. Some of us are little. They're all different. But let's get up and use our bodies and move a little bit for a second here. Let me move my camera. So you can see. Okay, can you see me? Yep, I think you can. I'm gonna teach you a song, let's wiggle. Okay. We've been sitting a little bit too long. Let's sing a song called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Ready? It goes like this. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, head, Shoulders, knees, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. I almost did hips because there's another song, again, another part that I'm going to teach you later. So, ready? Help me sing it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job. Just a second here, friends. Just had to pick something up there. Ready? Now let's do it faster. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Okay, that was fast, but do you think you can do it faster? Ready? Okay, well, you might be faster than me, ready? Fast, 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 right? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <sighs> what? You want to do it faster? <sighs> Supersonic fast? I don't know if I can do that. Can you? Let's try it. Ready? Okay. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <sighs> you guys are fast. All right. I'm going to teach you a little bit more. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job. You guys are awesome. You did it supersonic fast. And you did it quiet, you did it all different ways. 
there's other ways you can sing this song too. You can make up new body parts. And I'm going to teach you another way that I learned. Somebody taught me, my kids taught me this actually. This is how it goes. It's neck, elbows, hips and feet, hips and feet, neck, elbows, hips and feet, hips and feet, eyes and rears, and chin and cheeks, neck, elbows, hips and feet, hips and feet. Is that so? That's weird. Got our Trishies in there, right? Okay, ready? Let's sing it a little bit faster. Are you ready? Neck, elbows, hips and feet, hips and feet. Neck, elbows, hips and feet, hips and feet. Thighs and rears and chin and cheeks. Neck, elbows, hips and feet, hips and feet. Yay, good job, guys. You can change any of the body parts in that song and make it however you like. I'm gonna move my camera again. Hold on one second. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna, all right. You can change the song. You can add different body parts. You can change the parts on your face just like I did, chin and cheeks. You can elbows, you can do hips, you can do belly, you can do back. You can do hair. You can do shins, all kinds of, you can do arms. Whatever you want. You can change the body parts and do whatever you want with that song. So, back to how you're different. Now that we did our bodies, let's talk about the things you like. I know we all have some favorite things. I have favorite things. Do you have some favorite things? Let's start with what is your favorite color. I'm going to put up the colors of the rainbow. You think about what your favorite color is. Let's start with Head. Think in your head. Think first, and then we'll all say it together what our favorite color is. But think first. That might be red. Maybe orange. Oh, but orange. Yellow. Why for yellow? Is your favorite color yellow? Yellow like a sunflower? Maybe your favorite color is green, like some people have green eyes or green grass. Maybe your favorite color is blue. Is your favorite color blue? How about purple? Is your favorite color purple? Now there's the colors that are in our rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But there are even colors that aren't in the rainbow. Like pink and gray and brown. Like our, my hair is brown. Brown, like a brown bear. Black, I know some people, their favorite color is black. Think, what's your favorite color? All these colors, maybe your favorite color is white. Wh W white. All these colors. Now think, which one is your favorite? And when I go like this, I want to hear which one is your favorite. Ready? Think which one it is. Okay, ready? Tell me which one's your favorite color. I heard somebody say red. Oh, I bet I, I think I heard somebody say blue and purple. I think I heard everybody say every different color. Everybody likes a different color. There's so many different colors. That's awesome. These are all the colors and your favorite color was yeah how about your favorite food think in your head there's so many foods what's your favorite food do you like pizza or spaghetti or maybe a snack food like chips or fruit like strawberries what's your favorite food think all right got got your answer ready let me hear what's your favorite food i heard someone say chicken someone said spaghetti i think a couple people said pizza and I think I heard a couple people say ice cream. There were so many different answers. Everybody likes some different food. Now my next question is, what's your favorite animal? Think in your head, there's so many animals. It could be your favorite animal is an animal that's a pet, like a cat or a dog or a hamster or a fish. Maybe your favorite animal is at the zoo, like a giraffe or a lion. Let's think. Okay, you ready? Do you have your favorite animal? Tell me, what's your favorite animal? 
I heard a giraffe. I heard a dog. How so many different animals. I think I even heard tiger and bears. Somebody likes bears. So many different animals. Oh, and cats. I think I heard cats too. There were lots of different answers. Now, what's your favorite toy? Look around at your toys. I know you guys have lots of fun toys. Look around, see what you like. Okay, which one is your favorite? Think, think about your answer before you say it. What's your favorite toy? Are you ready? What's your favorite toy? <gasps> I heard Paw Patrol. I know I heard baby dolls. I heard coloring. Oh, I think I heard race cars. You guys are awesome. You have a lot of different things that you like to play with. Now, what's your favorite? I want you to think, what's your favorite TV show or movie? Hmm, that's hard. There's so many, but what do you like to watch? Ready? Think, what's your favorite show? Think first. Do you have your answer? Okay, tell me, what's your favorite show? <gasps> Did I hear Sesame Street? And I think I heard Paw Patrol again. I think I heard, I think it's Princess Elena. There were so many TV shows. Good job. How about your favorite story? What story do you like to read? Now this one, you might have to go look at your books and see which one is your favorite. Or maybe you know which one your mommy reads to you or daddy reads to you or grandma or grandpa or aunts or uncles or brothers or sisters read to you at night. That's your favorite. Think in your head. What story is your favorite? Maybe the story today was, became your favorite. The story that I read, we all like and we all different. Think, what's your favorite story? Okay, are you ready? You have your answer? Tell me, what's your favorite story? Oh, so many good ones. My favorite story was Green Eggs and Ham when I was little. My mom told me that I had to make her read it over and over and over again because it was my favorite. And that's okay. We all like different things, don't we? So, now when you go and finish this, link, this video, I have an activity for you to do. If you were at school, one of the things that we would do is draw a picture of ourselves. We call it a self-portrait. And I know you now know, if you look in the mirror and you know what you look like, you can draw your self-portrait. You can do just your face, or you can do your whole body, it's whatever you want, but I know that you guys can draw your picture. It's very easy if you want to draw your face. I'm going to just pull up just a black marker. What shape is our face? It's a circle or an oval. And I know you can draw that. Oops, my marker doesn't want to work there. That's all you have to do is draw a circle or an oval. And then look in the mirror. Look what color your eyes are. If you have glasses, maybe you want to draw your glasses. Look what color your eyes are and find that marker. My eyes are brown. So I'm going to draw some brown dots. You might not be able to see that that's brown, but that's my brown marker. Then look at your nose and draw your nose. Some people draw a little oval for a nose or a little line to make their nose. I know some people like to draw the two little dots on the nose. Look at your mouth. Does your mouth like to smile? Draw a smiling mouth. But what color are our lips? Are her lips purple? No, they're pink or red. So find your pink or your red marker and draw your smile. Just like that. Then look at your hair. What color is your hair? Is your hair brown? Is it straight? If it's brown, get your brown crayon. And if it's long and straight, draw long straight lines for your hair. If it's curly, you can go like this and make it circle-y, okay? Do circles, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can bring it a little closer. Just make your hair, if it's curly like that, and if it's straight, make it straight up and down like this, okay? I know you guys can draw your self-portrait, and after you draw your self-portrait, a very important thing to learn is how to write your name. Some of you older kids may already know how to write your name, so at the bottom of your self-portrait, write your name. If you know how to do it, you guys write it. If you don't, have mommy or daddy write your name for you. 
and have them tell you the letters in your name so you can start to learn the letters that are in your name. And maybe if you're starting to write but you can't write your whole name, maybe you can write the first letter or two of your name. So put your name at the bottom of your self-portrait after you draw it. After you draw yourself. Now if you want to do your body, draw your body. You can do more than one. If you want to do a lot of pictures of yourself, you can. Draw one with just your face. Draw one with your face and your body. Draw one with your family if you want. So you can do whatever you want. But after you draw it, write your name on there. Or have mommy and daddy help you write your name. And then your mommy and daddy can print out this paper. And at the top it says, my favorite. We already went through these. We have my favorite color. We already talked about what's your favorite color. Food. What's your favorite food? And your mommy and daddy can write in the answers. One more thing, when you're all done, have your mommy write the date on your paper and on your self-portrait. That way when you're older and you've grown up and you've changed, these answers might change. You might not like the same favorite food or the same favorite color or the fa same favorite TV show. And it'll be fun when you're older to look back and go, I used to like this, okay? So make sure mommy puts the date on. That's the end of our circle time. When we finish our circle time, we're going to sing another little song that you guys might already know. We sing it in the bunny room. It goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. We'll see you next time. That's it. You want to sing it with me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. We'll see you next time. That's the end. I hope you've had a good time with our preschool time and that you get to have fun doing your picture. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.